Hey experiments, welcome to Experiment P16. My name is Kayla and welcome to our new segment, Kayla's Key to the Kingdom. Um, we decided to throw this in just so uh, you could see more of my beautiful face. I mean, I know you all get a little tired, Jordan. <laughs> but um, no, in all honesty, it's just, I feel like I have a lot of Disney knowledge and I'd like to share it. I'm always in for your input as well. So I mean, always feel free to comment after the videos if you guys have any input that you'd like to on um, some of the content. So yeah, let's dive right into um, our first ever episode of Kayla's Key to the Kingdom. Alright, so experiments. Today on Kayla's Key to the Kingdom, we're going to talk about something that's pretty serious, especially when it comes to Disney. And I, I, I think that most of the experiments on this channel will agree with me when I say that this is probably the most important factor to your Disney vacation. And that is, where are you going to eat? I ask myself that question every day. Like, what am I going to do? What am I going to eat? Where am I going? I'm going to stay, I'm going to go, I'm going to eat, I'm going to eat, and out. Well, it just so happens that for you guys, I put together a list of top 10 restaurants around Walt Disney World property that are dining or known as table service. Um, they're great, especially if you're doing the Disney Dine-In. Um, some of these are two credits, some of these are one credits. Again, if you don't know much about the Disney Dine-In program, I will save that for a later video and can explain it. And if you're a little anxious to know what that is, feel free to jump on Google or some other forums and check it out. It's a pretty cool program that um, allows people to dine on Walt Disney World property when they're staying on Walt Disney World property. But again, more info for another time. Um, I would rank these restaurants from starting at 10 being, uh, I wouldn't say like the least likely, but basically the least likely um, of the restaurants all the way up to the highest, which would be number one. So we're gonna start with number 10. And I would have to say that that is Be Our Guest, featured after this lovely couple over here to my left. Um, so this is a Beauty and the Beast inspired restaurant. It's gorgeous. It looks just like the Beast Castle from the movie. It's everything you picture. Um, I mean, even they said Disney has this really great way of basically making things look larger than they appear and they do the same thing with the Beast Castle. So when you're seeing it from um, the distance, it looks like this huge castle that's off, set far off. Um, and I mean, they do a great job at that depth perception. Um, I mean, they've done that with the Tangled Tower as well and some other uh, locations you can kind of dot around uh, the world. <laughs> so, the great thing about Be Our Guest is that it is one of the only places in Walt Disney World, other than like parties and stuff, you're gonna see the Beast. Um, you have actually a meet and greet with him, but that is only for dinner time, so that does not actually count in the morning when they are open for breakfast and lunch. So that's actually, so that meet and greet with the Beast is actually only at dinner time. Um, it's not for breakfast, and I'm actually not sure if it's for lunch, so uh, we can actually, we'll check in on that for you. I've never actually been to Be Our Guest for lunch yet, so definitely something I'm gonna even have to research there. Do you hear that thunder? It's crazy. Scary thunderstorms going on right now. I feel like Wishes is gone on outside, I know. Rest in peace, Wishes. All right, so let's move on to number nine. Number nine, Whispering Canyon. Now, this is a really good, if you just love food, again, another thing. Just, not as much as I love Disney, but I, it's, it's pretty close. Um, Whispering Canyon's great because it's a um, home-style meal. You get like your barbecue foods, and the good thing is they will bring things over to you guys. Um, so it's not like a buffet style or anything like that. And there are a lot of things to order from and different choices for everybody. So it really adds as a contender up there because again, multiple choices for people. But definitely go if you're into barbecue food because it's got some of the best barbecue food on Walt Disney World property. All right, sorry by the way. I'm using a little cheat sheet over here. Should have memorized these a little bit better, but not enough time. Jordan's like, hey, you're doing a video tonight. I'm like, oh, really? Well, at least he let me get my makeup on like every other video that he's just like, let's throw the camera on and do a video. <laughs> so, um, number eight, the 
Grand Floridian Cafe. So this is a really nice place, especially for a lunch, which is where when I've gone in the past. Um, lunch, dinner, I mean, you can get it kind of all at the Grand Floridian Cafe. I really enjoyed it. I like the atmosphere because I'm a huge fan of the Grand Floridian. It's like one of my top resorts. Or is my top resort, I should say. Um, so it's really good, great food, great service. You just kind of feel like you're living a luxurious lifestyle when you're there. Um, number seven is Coral Reef. So this is a really cool experience one, especially for only being one credit on the dining plan. Again, check it out if you're not sure what I'm talking about, because um, it's a really cool program. But Coral Reef has a really um, awesome aquatic garden. Basically, you feel like you're in an aquarium and you can watch the fish um, that are right on the other side of Nemo and Friends and uh, Turtle Talk Crush. It's literally right off to the side of that attraction in Epcot. Um, so you get to see this aquarium while you're dining. And they have a lot of surf and turf options, so it's not just a seafood option, which is really great because again, gives a lot of people different choices. All right, let's roll into number six. So I wanted to throw a buffet in there and a character uh, meet and greet. So I threw in Chef Mickey's into the number six category. Um, Chef Mickey's is great. I'll have to say it is a great place if you are if you have kids. Even if you don't have kids, if you just want to see all the characters, especially in their dining wear um, and, and their Chef, Chef Goofy is great. Um, as well as Chef Donald. Donald's got my heart. Um, he was great there. We had a, actually a lovely dinner together um, that night because he actually, there's a lot more time with the characters because they'll stop by every table. So actually Donald came and sat down and it was a really great experience. Um, but a good thing is I was actually there for my birthday. Um, it was one of my birthdays that I happened to be in the world. I tried to make it down there right around that time. And when I was there, um, it was my first time dining with Chef Mickey's and they gave me a birthday card. And I don't think I have that birthday card on me and I wish I brought it, but I'll, maybe I'll include it in the next video to show you guys. Um, but the birthday card is signed by all of the um, characters in there, so the Fab Five. Um, they write just their autograph inside it so you don't have to worry about if you forgot your autograph book or anything like that if you get a birthday card um, and you're there for your birthday. Um, it was a really cute card. It's got on the front of it the castle and it's got all of the Disney characters just right in the front so it's really cute. Wow, how many times can Kayla say really cute in a sentence? Really cute, really cute, really cute. Can you guys tell I'm new at this? I don't know. It's not really my forte, but happy spouse, happy house. <laughs> All right, number five, you guys. Let's go back into this. So number five for dining, sauna. Sauna is great. I really enjoyed sauna because it's not your typical dining location. So if you're really into just comfort foods, you're not willing to kind of be that person that goes out of the box then I don't really recommend sauna for you. This is just more, again, my preference of what a top 10 list is. I'm sure a lot of people out there have a different top 10 or might have this in a different order, but sauna is definitely great, and that's definitely why I had to give it the number five spot. Um, it has this amazing bread dish, and I actually would have never known about sauna if you don't remember, and I'm not sure if Pierre will be able to find it. If he can find it, it would be really cool. Um, and you can maybe insert it somewhere here here, wherever you want here. Um, but I saw this on Disney Channel, it was a review, and I must have been like maybe 11, 12, but this review was of Sana, and they talked about this Indian bread dish, and it's all these different breads and these dips, and they rank from a very mild and sweet to very spicy. Um, and it's just really like it's a cool option especially because again this is coming from a completely different culture but it's also great for an experience so which I love about Disney Disney always has all these different experiences and things that are out of the box that you don't get to try unless you travel to these places luckily they're not just at these places anymore and Disney's brought it to life here which is a much closer option 
All right, now rolling into number four. Another character meet and greet, and a fave of mine is Cinderella's Royal Table. Now, Cinderella's Royal Table is a two credit dining experience, and I really recommend, maybe you don't have to do it every trip. I mean, I don't do it every trip, but I like to include it in at least one of my trips every now and again. Um, it's really special for me, because again, going back to another birthday I had, um, and happened to be in the world. I went there with my mom, and it was just the two of us, great girls trip, because you get to see all the princesses um, in their uh, ball gown attire, because they're going to Cinderella's for this royal, basically, feast. Um, you meet Cinderella downstairs the cat, uh, before the dinner starts, you get your photo taken uh, with a photo pass photographer, and then go upstairs, and each princess is introduced as if she's just arrived into the feast. And so they'll, she'll come around, and as soon as she's like halfway through, even maybe a quarter way through, another princess will then enter and be announced. Um, some people have told me that they've seen uh, Prince Charming at this dining and experience. I haven't seen Prince Charming there, but I mean, certainly tell me about the experience if you have seen him, because that's pretty cool. Have not met Prince Charming yet. I'm hoping to this time when we go to 1900 Park Fair. Um, so fingers crossed. Uh, going back into the dining at Cinderella's table though, what I liked about it is, uh, and I mean you could do this at any restaurant, but my mom surprised me with a gift and it was actually Fairy Godmother's Magic Wand and she had this done by the Disney Disney gifts, which you can basically do um, for any trip that you go to, and have a gift sat at the table waiting for them to unwrap. And I had no idea this was happening. Um, and it came with this cute little card that was sitting there with it, and it says, A Magical Wish. Disney is known for fairy tales and making dreams come true, but the fairy godmother in my life is someone I love that's you. You inspire me to dream, you've encouraged me to grow, your time spent with me means far more than you know. And that is why I give this gift as a chance to say, wave this wand with its magic powers and make a wish this day. Then wear this bracelet and believe that someday you will see your wish be granted by someone who loves you, that someone who is me. And I did get a bracelet with that too. Don't have it, should have worn it, but. <laughs> um, to be honest, it was already hard enough to find these and I really wanted to share these with you guys because it's a really cute thing and it was at like the perfect place because I mean you're basically you can look up one of the stained glass windows and you're looking down at the rest of the Magic Kingdom it's from the castle I mean it's a great opportunity and it's probably one of like the few opportunities anyone gets to actually get inside Cinderella's castle um, great thing is with your littles um, your little princesses will get a magic wand of their own complimentary um it actually says cinderella's royal table and your knights will actually get a little sword and if you hear that meowing that is minnie she's our new little fur baby um tonight's our first night in the house so she's very very curious as to what i'm doing and meowing under the table to see what's going on all right now going out of cinderella's uh, royal table we go to the boathouse. <sighs> Love the boathouse. Um, so boathouse got our number three because boathouse had great food, lots of options. Again, you had that surf, you had that turf, and I mean they even have vegetarian options. There's a little bit of everything for everyone. And always be sure going back to I don't know why vegetarian <laughs> reminded me, but always remember to inform your server before. You put in your meal if anybody in your party has any food allergies because it's great and Disney's super accommodating. I have quite a few friends who actually suffer from uh, celiac which is actually a wheat and gluten allergy and the good thing is, is Disney is so accommodating to people with allergies. So um, going back into the boathouse they have a fabulous dessert menu. The baked Alaska. Absolutely to die for. Um, the steak was amazing. I don't think that there was anything that any of us had at the boathouse that we didn't like. Every we went, it was me, Jordan, and our friends Paige and Chad. And that was actually the trip that Jordan proposed to me. And um, it was our first night there that we got to uh, the parks, and we were like, "Yeah, we're gonna do Disney Springs to just kind of settle in." 
and made a reservation for the boat house and none of us have been at that time so really cool thing is that they have the aqua cars which i'm pretty sure they have another name for them um i'm sure pierre will insert the real name for them somewhere in here um so we actually would uh, could go out on to uh seven seas lagoon um, in one of them, but uh, we didn't do that this experience just because we were already running really close to our reservation um, But it was still really cool. You could uh, overlook the lake and um, Just enjoy a really nice sit-down meal number two Narcusis and I love them because they have great options um, especially their seafood options and other than the boathouse because they had a great looking steak, which I saw beforehand. Um, I typically will pick seafood because I'm a seafood fanatic. They have a lot of seafood options at Narcusis, but they did have like some other options. And my mom's not a seafood fan at all, so she went with the filet. I'm pretty sure that's what, what kind of steak it was. It was definitely a steak. Um, but it's definitely you just it's more fine dining, and it is a two credit on the dining plan, so. I mean, usually with two credit services, they're usually a typically a little bit more higher up as far as that fine dining goes. Um, what I like about Narcusis, other than the food, was the fact that you get a great view across um, Seven Seas Lagoon at Magic Kingdom. We were actually able to go on the deck. Um, our waiter um, told us right before the fire started, and we went out on the deck and we got to watch the fireworks from the deck and the music for that firework show played around the deck. So they had the speakers set up and linked with the music. So it was a really great experience just because you got a, an amazing view and you didn't have to fight the crowds for it. You actually got to enjoy your dinner, um, which was really nice. And I kind of think that's the reason why my number one is my number one because of, again, going back to that phenomenal view. And my number one is California Grill. And if you have not ate at California Grill yet, please make it a must. At least put this one somewhere. If you can't include any of the others, put California Grill into your dining plan because California Grill is a phenomenal dining experience. Uh, I mean, they and they do have everything. Whether it's sushi, pizza, steaks, burgers, they have it all. Uh, you can get, I think, everybody's fan favorites at California Grill. I liked the time we went um, for California Grill because we made our reservation around, I want to say, 8.30, maybe a little bit before 8.30. Um, we caught, we had a window view, so not sure, again, if you don't know the location exactly, it's actually at the very top of the Contemporary Resort that overlooks the Magic Kingdom and Seven Seas Lagoon. You can also see uh, some of the other uh, resorts like Grand Floridian and Polynesian but they have this great wind, uh, pan window that goes all the way across. Um, ask for a window seat if you can. I mean, it's not always guaranteed. But uh, I got the window. It was great. I got to see the electrical parade and see the Magic Kingdom fireworks, and it was great all while I was eating. So, I mean, like, it was like you were in the happiest place on earth, eating, watching shows, and it was just the perfect Disney experience. So I really recommend um, California Grill. Um, I think that kind of just wraps it up. Like uh, I do uh, apologize again, not better at this. Hopefully I'll get better in future videos to come. But I really want to thank you guys. Um, I'm hoping to do this as a weekly segment. So I really appreciate any feedback again because this is new to me, um, new to you guys. <laughs> Feel free to comment below and let me know um, what you guys thought. You guys have any questions um, also I do want to inform you that I am a magical vacation planner um, I work for uh, Wicked Mouse Travel and I can help you with your Disney vacations and I will have that link included in the bottom but definitely that's not what this is about I definitely just want to still help so again don't feel like you need to reach out I mean I just am here to help if you have any questions um, so again uh, comments below don't forget to hit that like button and if you haven't subscribed please do because It'll get Jordan off my back. 